on, on last week we dealt with uh, we dealt with uh, uh, Theopolis, didn't we? Wasn't that last week? We dealt with the week before. Week before. Okay. We deal with the song last week. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. 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 We or should be a teaching of every disciple. Should be the faith of every believer. Should be the courage of every martyr. And should be the theme of every servant. We're supposed to write that down. The power of every evangelist. I, I, I gave this to you after we did when we went to John last time, and, of, and, of, and I said these things only because of, of the importance of it. It should be these things, but it's not all of that when when it comes to uh, people dealing with the word. You know, God commands us to study, ain't that right? Yeah. Everybody don't study. That's why when I mentioned these things, I said they should be everything that I said. The faith of every believer yeah. mm -hmm. when it goes to talking about what? The resurrection mm -hmm. of Jesus. Yeah. Um, so Luke is telling us that the infallible proofs from Luke chapter 1 and from Acts chapter 1 right. that he mentions it twice as if he's talking to an individual but he's talking to more than an individual he's talking to everyone who loves God right? Mm -hmm. Amen Okay. so we'll start at, and, and we're dealing with the infallible proof. So this morning we want to start at verse, at Matthew chapter 28. Yep. <clears throat> and we're going to uh, deal with Jesus as he appeared to the women. Are we in 28? Mm -hmm. Jesus, how he to the women. Yeah. We're going to deal with different people that he dealt with. In this particular one, he's dealing with the women. Someone read verse 1 and 2. Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. Okay, so they came to the tomb to see him, right? Mm -hmm. This is two of the women. Mary, Magdalene, mm -hmm. and the other Mary. Who is the other Mary? His mother. He's the mother. His mother. Yeah. Is that Jesus' mother to the other Mary? Yes, yeah, Mary Magdalene and the Mary other Mary. Mary Magdalene is not what you said. And Mary, and the other Mary. Oh. Mm -hmm. You said she's not what, uh, uh, Mary? I was saying that Mary Magdalene was, was, was not Jesus' mother. Yeah, I know that. He said, and it, it, he said, and the uh, it wasn't, other it, Mary. It wasn't, it wasn't Jesus' mother. It wasn't, who was it? Turn to Mark 16 and read verse 1. Okay, Mark 16. Uh -huh. You all keep your fingers there, Matthew. Okay, I got it. I got it, Matthew. You said Matthew 16? I told you to read Mark. I mean, okay, Mark, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm talking to the class, not you. Oh, okay. Okay, you say read verse 1? Yes, please. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James. All right, hold on. That's who that was. See, he don't tell you who it is in, in, in Matthew. Right, but it said the mother, though. I said it was the mother, right? Mother of James. It's the mother of James. I ask you. Oh, it's not Mary the mother of James. Okay. It's seven Marys in the New Testament. Right, okay. 
And so in dealing with that, like, we need to that? know exactly who it is we're talking about, right? Yeah. Right. If something comes up and you need to share with something with somebody, you don't want to give them the wrong information. Right. Yeah. But that's the Mary that it's talking about. The Mary. Mary. Or Jane. Mother. Or or Jane. Jane. Okay. Uh, who was the reading, Mary? Me. Who is it? And Salome had brought sweet spices that they might come to and anoint him. Yeah, okay, thank you. We do with that. Okay. Mother and Dad, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Go ahead, uh, Liz. And behold, there was a great earthquake. Verse 2. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. Okay, thank you. Someone else, 4 and 5. And for a fear of him, the keeper did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Women. Not he, for it I said, say it unto the women. Women. And said, <coughs> and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye see Jesus, which was crucified. Who else? Some man. He is not here, for he is risen. And he said, Come to see the place where the, the Lord lay. Seven said, And and so quickly and tell the disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. All there of this, huh? There shall ye see him, lo, I have told you. I have told you. So all of this is impalpable proofs. Yeah. Yeah, all of this is, is the truth and nothing but the truth. I mean, this is what 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 the Lord is going to do, what has happened. <clears throat> Don't. All of this is the truth. And so it, it, it's, it's so beautiful and so important that we can just, oh my goodness, we can just relax in here and, 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 and feast on these words because we need to believe that also. See? There are many people tell you, well, I never seen him, I never seen him. Well, it doesn't mean they're not saved. But the bottom line is, you need to get to see it. Because I'm not the only one that have saw him. <laughs> You're reading about people that have saw him right now. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. And the only thing that it takes is faith. Do you think some people can pray without faith? No, you don't. Huh? Yeah, you need faith. You need faith. Right. Yeah, but I, there are some people that that don't pray with faith. And that's why they don't get answers. That's why things don't happen. That's why the prayer has to be accompanied with faith. God answers the prayers of his people. But when they pray, they pray in faith. Amen. Where did we stop? Verse 8. Verse 8. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples word. Number nine. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Okay. Look what it said. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear. What, what kind of fear? Was they scared? Well, is that like it's honor and respect? I don't think they was a Re reverence. And yeah, really reverence. Scared, reverence. Reverence and respect. Yeah. Well, reverence and him. And, you know, right. Respect. But they you wouldn't feel different. like, you know, I can get scared or something. They wouldn't scared like that. Because okay. sometimes somebody they breaking use, my house, robbing, I'm scared. Yeah, not that kind of scared. Sometimes the scripture just use afraid rather than fear. Yeah. Like. If, if it was, yeah, to distinguish them. See, because a person that don't have spiritual understanding, they'll read that and take it the wrong way. Right. I was going to say, it also says with great joy. So, like, how could you be afraid and well, happy? Well, I can understand your, your point, yeah. So, yeah. But That's the person that time. runs into it and don't have the spiritual understanding that goes with it, they would stop that. They may not get to the job. Right. Because they, <laughs> they could be confused. Right. See? And so whenever you run into words and don't have 
uh, the spiritual understanding. You deal with that. You need to go over that. You need to do some research. You need, you need to ask the Lord to, to open it up for you. Give you some understanding. Huh? Amen. Yeah. What, what verse was that? Uh, eight? No, yeah. Number nine. Eight, nine. And they departed from the sepulchre with fear and great joy. How can you be scared and joyous at the same time? Right. 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 That's that's the opposite. Contradiction. Yeah, contradiction, see. And they did run to the Contra, right? to his yeah. disciples. They did what? Run to bring his disciples. The yeah. word. The word. Yeah. yeah. See? And faith is in there working with all of them, with these people. See? Okay, nine and ten. I read nine. Okay. Ten? Yeah. Uh, ten says, Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren that I go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Hold it. Look at that. You <laughs> may tell me you've seen God. What did God just command them to do? He didn't tell go them, go, go, go if you want to. Right. He, he might, commanded them. He go. No. Go, go to Galilee. <laughs> tell his brother. Tell his brother. Tell the Galilee. Go into Galilee and there they, see see me. they will see me. Yes, and I mean, Michelle, why does it sound like some people are trying to hide him? I mean, tell me you can see you. Mm -hmm. I mean, what kind of reaction do you get when someone you hear somebody say that? Don't be scared to say something. You say what? You had, <laughs> what type of reaction do you have when somebody you ask, me, ask you? You mean tell me you done seen Jesus? Right. Uh, I don't. It ain't just people out the yeah. church. People in the church. I believe. I think it's because they are uh, not in the negative sense, but ignorant. You know, just lacking knowledge in that sense. Because so many people have seen God. If you study the scriptures. Even the New Testament, you see all these disciples, all these people seeing the miracles of God. Jesus is God. They've seen God. And um, when we come in Bible study, I remember we studied about Aaron, um, uh, Moses, and Miriam. And how Miriam and uh, Aaron got envious that Moses stand face to face and speak with God. And you can see at Mount Sinai how the Lord, his appearance was so tremendous that Israel was afraid to see him. All you got to do is just study the word. You'll see how so, so many people so saw that. So as an example of what Justice is saying, yeah. how in the world could his brother and sister get jealous of him seeing God and they ain't never seen him? A lot of people get jealous of you. A lot of people get how? jealous. How? 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 When, when you're doing work for the Lord, they, I mean, they get jealous, you know. They uh, weren't in the spirit. Right. Okay. But, you right. know, people get jealous of you. Even in the church, when you're doing something, right. they get jealous. The period, you can't be in the flesh, mama, and see God. Yep. Yeah. Right. You. you can't be in the flesh and see God. You have to be in the spirit. So, when I hear people say, you mean tell me you've seen God? I say, yeah. You have you? No, I ain't scared. Well, you got to get out of the place. You know, you got some work from the city. Amen. So, I mean, it, 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 and that's the joy. It sounds like we laugh at it, but that's joy yeah. springing up. Yeah. And it's so beautiful. What did we stop at? 10? Yeah, okay. now we have 11. Oh. Uh, That's, that's, that's what I wanted to cover. Because that's how he presented himself to the women. And it's, it's so beautiful, it's so wonderful that uh, when we study the scripture, whatever answers we have, it's in the book. But there's 66 books in there. And then that means that it's going to be time consuming. Mm -hmm. huh? Amen. Yeah, you can't run through this in an hour. No. <laughs> You'll run into an inflection point. And what did that lesson teach us about inflection point? Inflection point? Oh, y'all drive, yeah. You don't know what an inflection point is? Oh, you, like, you gotta make you're a decision. You're driving down the highway. You go right or left. You see right. an right. arrow pointing right. Point right. Left you gotta right. go one way or the other. It means you can't go straight ahead. Right. Right. That's the inflection point. Huh? Inflation mark, huh? Yeah. <laughs> inflection point. No, no, it's an inflection point. Okay, I got you. Yeah, can't go straight <laughs> in. Can't go straight in anymore. You have to go mother left.
left or right. right. Now, if you try to keep straight, you might wind up in the river. <laughs> you definitely going to wind up somewhere you shouldn't be right. <laughs> off the highway. Right. So. Yeah. Amen. All right. Uh, Luke chapter 24. So we, we let's say, let's, 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 let's. Luke chapter 24. Because we're dealing with the infallible proofs. Right. All of this is, is, is uh, context of the infallible proofs. That means true. They can't be doubted. Can't be denied. Can't be allowed. Truth. Do we have 24? Amen. Amen. Okay, 24. Let's do, uh, let's do a little reading, starting at uh, uh, verse 13-14. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem, about three scores furlong. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Those are mine. See, behold, two of them went. So two of them went. Mm -hmm. But look, look, take a look. I, I should have started back up here, but, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, take a look back up here at 10 and 12. I want you to see who was a part of that. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James, and other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. See, now all of a sudden, all of them are coming to the apostles. The apostles weren't there in Matthew. Mm -hmm. And they telling the things to the apostles now. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Now, see what's going on? It ain't true, mother, that every believer believes the word. True. Amen. Hmm? True. Yeah. Yeah. If, 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 if you hear the saying that every every believer believes the word, it ain't true. Every believer don't believe. Why? Some um, doubt. Yeah. Some doubt. Just like they doubt in the scriptures, <laughs> they doubt in the church. Right, so don't have to faith to believe it. That's what I'm saying. They don't. That's a lack of when a person, when a person dies, when he dies, yeah, what goes in the grave? The body. The body. The body goes in the grave. Body goes in the grave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They share. The the what shit. else going in? That's it. Your spirit and your, your soul spirit go in there. What else? Yeah. Huh? What are they? The spirit. Well, they, they, they they in earth. the spirit of the believer goes to no, the Lord. No, the Lord. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you said what was the body. You said body going to the grave. Right, but the spirit and the soul don't yeah, go, yeah, go, go back to the Lord. Lord. Where it came from. Where it came from, right. It, what right? happens then when they get back there? We sleep into we the sleep. resurrection. We sleep into the resurrection. How come they just don't... Uh, uh, Go up there and start living and do it. Because we all got to face the judgment. We all got to go to the judgment. To the judgment. Everybody got to go. Everybody got to go. Right. We did that lesson on that. happen until after. Yep, the judgment. To the judgment. Everybody got to go to the judgment. That's why. Why? Yeah. So until that time. You ain't sleep. You be sleep. Yep. Is it sleep or dead? It's sleeping. How, how come it's sleep? How can it be sleep? Because you died in Jesus. Because you died in Jesus. But the answer is the Lord is going to call them and go yep. wake them up. That's right. Yep. You that's, how, that's how they sleep, mother. Right. right. He's going to wake them up. Right. He's going to have to wake them up. What they got to go to judgment. And then, mm -hmm. and yeah, if, if you yeah. don't be gone, you got to be caught up in that. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, but it's a spiritual sleep. It ain't, they ain't snowing and all this. I know that. I know that. Okay, I just want you to get a good understanding. <laughs> but he has to wake him up. Oh, okay, okay. If you still be here, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, we to go. Where do we stop? Ten? Yeah, we can read, we read ten. Then arose Peter and ran unto his sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen cloth laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which 
was came, was come to pass. Y'all see that? Yeah. He just said, what in the world is going on? Every, the clothes and everything that they buried our Lord in, they land here and he gone. Right. What the hell? <laughs> He's wondering. He done forgot what the Lord taught him. But all the while he was with him for, for those years. Right. See how things can happen on the spur of the moment? We knew it. We knew it so well for the longest, and all of a sudden now, question mark is up. And you wouldn't think it was Peter, but look at it. <laughs> but at that time, didn't the women tell them tell tell them that they saw Jesus? They oh, told them, but, yeah. but my point was Jesus told them that for it. Yeah. Left. Okay. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> they, right. if, if you that. already know it. All the women did yeah, was came, came and, and, and witnessed to it. Right. Yeah. That what the Lord said was true. It was true. Yeah. See? And he still got some doubt. It's that way today. Yeah. You look around, over half of the pews in here is empty. But on Sunday they feel up. Now it's true. A lot of people work, right? Yeah. Some of us used to work. Yeah. But the bottom line is, the Lord knows everyone that's not working that should be here. Yeah. Amen. Oh, come on, y'all. Amen. He know everything. Yes, he do. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. And for those that need to be here and are not here, then they're going to L-A-C-K. Mm -hmm. like, like Scripture says we ain't got no business lacking for nothing. Yeah. Like I get up and go, like I did, and I just hold on to the bed for the last minute. <laughs> 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 but, but when you don't do what you need to be doing, right. you lack it. Yeah. You lack it. Yep. See? I mean, everything still seems the same. It's warm outside, and I can drink some cold water, or whatever I want to do. But I'm lacking mm. spiritually. Amen. It's not a natural thing. It's, it's a spiritual, spiritual thing. Okay, Amen. where we shall. Let's uh, let's go to. Uh, Are we coming back here? Luke, we finished twelve. Back to where? To Luke uh, twenty-four. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay, so where we going though? Uh, the the road. Let's move on. Man. We're going to verse thirteen. Read thirteen. Oh, thirteen. He said, <laughs> and behold, two of them went. That same day to to the village of um, called Emmaus, 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 uh -huh. which was from Jerusalem, about three score followers. Fourteen say, and they talked together of all these things which had happened. Okay, see, and and if you and I had been back there during that time, that that would be our major conversation. Yeah, because everybody knew about it. <laughs> because it was something that's never happened before. And then because we believe in God, I mean, it was so awesome to us. We we just be, oh man, I mean, we have we'd be having a great time with this, right? Amen. Come on, yeah. Amen. Does the scripture say joy? What is joy? <coughs> Happy. Happy. Excited. Happy. Excited. Anybody? Joy. Well, you joy for even in the midst of a storm. You know, it's not happening. It's happening with something, and you, you know. Bring on, bring on yourself, but joy is different. You can mm -hmm. be joyful even in the midst of a storm, even right. when you're going through death or anything, you can be joyful. Yeah. But you can't be happy because you're not happy it happened, but you can be joyful. And in order for it to happen, what did we say joy stands for? Wait. <laughs> oh, you almost forgot. I don't know. Say it with me. Jesus, Jesus. others, uh, and yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Michelle got it. They, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Michelle, you yeah. over there holding them. Yeah. Okay. Verse 14 and 15. Somewhere. I got it. Um, 14 says, And they talked together of all these things which had happened. So it was while they conversed and reasoned that Jesus himself drew near and went with them. Wait but, a minute. Wait a minute. Look at this, you all. I mean, people are wondering. You, you mean to tell And I just can't, I can understand it because it lets me know that they're not 
spirit. Well, they need to be spiritual. Right. Right. You tell me, you seen God? John 1 18, what does it say? Right quick. No man have seen God. But what does Matthew 18 3 say? It says, except you come as a little child, okay, right. you will in no way enter into the kingdom, kingdom of God. Come on, y'all. Ain't no man going to see him. The only way you can see him, you got to come as a little child. child. You got <laughs> to become spiritual. You got to go back into your what? Y'all ain't mother. never heard it before? Mother. Yeah. A second child. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's how you come as a little child. Look at mother. Me and her would never be in that number if it, if it wasn't spiritual. Amen. Because we're not children anymore, ain't that right? What you mean, all of us? Not you and all you and all of us. All of us are children. I was just using us. I don't know what I'm saying. But you're right. All of us are children. But that's the point that I'm making. No man have ever seen God. No grown folk. Yeah. People who are not saved. Amen. People who are not spiritual. They can't see it. Why? Because God is spirit. And they are spiritually dead. Right. Amen. That's why they can't see it. Because they're spiritual. The only way you can see God, you got to be spiritual, spiritually alive. Amen. How do you become spiritually alive? By getting saved. Being saved, being born again. And then practicing the tenets of your profession. Right? 66 books. They ain't gonna wear out. Mm -mm. You're gonna learn something. But you every can time wear you one book out if you <laughs> if you read it enough. This one here, I'm oh my goodness. I've had it for so long, but I thank God it's still hanging with me. But it's taped up, wrapped up, bound up, and everything else. I think you like that one. You know, we're gonna bring it good. You like that one. I got one at home. I, I, love I, got, quite, I got quite a few right on there. <laughs> so look what it said about in, in 15. And it came to pass while they communed together and reasoned together, Jesus drew uh, near and went with them. Wherever there's peace and solace huh? and unity and, and beautiful things like that, Mother. Jesus has come right in the middle of it. But where it's, it's disagreement and arguing and, and fighting and all that, he ain't no part of that. Because he's living up to who he is. What, what does it say? God is love. Ain't no discrepancies in there. there. Ain't no arguing and fighting in there. Ain't no sadness and sickness and all that. In there. God is love. Right? Amen. And when and when he is love and, and his people are together, he's right in the midst of Because he said, I'll never what? Leave you not the same. That's a promise. You stand on that. That's right. You need to be standing on that. He told me he's going to do it and I'm holding it to his word. Amen. You got a right to do that. He wants you to do that. To the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, where we're we at? 16 and 17. 16, yeah. Well, their eyes were whole that they should not know him. Number 17 said, And he said unto them, What now are communication of these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? See? That's something that he's never been a part of. Right. Because he was always. always in the midst of joy and, and, and love and, and, sure. and grace, mama, and all them wonderful things that God has for his people. But he looks down and see them walking with all this stuff here going on. He said, well, wait a minute. Yeah. Anytime you see but, what does it signify? I could wait. You so-and-so, so-and-so, but. It's a I, that's, I tried to do it. It's kind of like a but. rebuttal. Right. Huh? It's like a rebuttal. Uh, or try to be on the excuse, uh, but uh, and in all of those different ways, you pop, you see this word pop up, but 
and he he was he was just resurrected. So all the stuff that Jesus told the disciples and all all of the people about how he would um be uh he'd be crucified, buried, and he raised again. Uh, they they were sad when they should be rejoicing. That means he he has the victory. And that's the that's the interesting thing is like all these people are confused and sad, but he already told them over and over again what was to happen. Well before he got crucified. Well yeah yeah well before he got crucified. The scripture keeps saying he taught them. And it's he, he taught them. He taught them. Yeah, and it's even uh, taught in the Old Testament. What sure. what the Jews studied it was from? Prophesied. Yeah, it was prophesied in the Old Testament. See? And some believed, and then it says some did. Yeah. And it's gonna be that way when he come back. It still be somebody some believe not believe, right. and some don't. Yeah. Oh. But in some ways, would you say everybody? Because you hear people that don't believe in God and call atheists. Soon as something happens bad, they say, "Oh Lord Jesus." So I, believe, so <laughs> I just oh, said that yesterday. Okay. I just so said that. So what do you I think happened that, yeah. right there at that crucial moment? Ah, yeah, what it's I hard to describe. That they believe. Right. They, they acknowledge right. the right. power okay, of God, it. but I mean, they acknowledge, right. but they're not they a power of God. The form of godliness, but they're not a power of God. They know that they need Jesus. All they can yeah. do is go yeah. about yeah. what they heard, right. 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 or what mama said, or, or, or any other kind of way. Because the reason why I say that, I had a sister, and we, I don't try to backtrack off the lesson. She had, you know, was pregnant at this time, and she didn't believe in God. But then, soon when the, when it was time for the had a baby, mm -hmm. he was the first one she called. Well, I heard it. Don't you call on my God? Well, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah. the scripture says having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Yeah. Because we're not our conscious. We know that there is a God. Everybody know on their conscious there is a God. They just don't want to be morally objective. I mean, morally responsible to God. Yeah. So they, oh, if I don't believe in God or acknowledge Him. I can live any type of sinful lifestyle right, I want right, right. and not be held accountable. For held some accountable. reason, flesh mm -hmm. will give you the impression that it ain't no big deal. Yeah. Yep, and convince you. Yeah, you, 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 you know, it's it's all gonna pass away. It's, it's, it's excuses. Mm -hmm. Right, no, there's excuses. That's all flesh is about. Mm -hmm. It can't help. I hear him talking, that's but that's he don't that's do that. That's true. That's and they said while all this was going on. They, that they should not know him, Jesus stood in the midst and asked the question, what kind of conversation are these that you <laughs> have with one another? And I said, as you are walking in and I say, what no joy in that? What right. no Jesus other than yourself in that? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were sad. I mean, he, he taught them, bro. Mm -hmm. Once you get taught, you get it. Right? right? You're supposed to have it. Right? Um, I said get taught. Yeah, get taught, yeah. If you don't have it, that, that's supposed to be there. Well, I was saying, but if you will not be taught. But once you get taught, you got it. And that's the way we have to look at it. See? And so, if the Holy Ghost is not instrumental in your teaching, in your studies, and everything else, you're not going to get it. But sometimes I remember, okay, I'm being taught, you're teaching me. Right. Sometimes you ask me a question, don't, don't nothing come in my head. My head I mean, you're like, you're like a blank right there. Don't nothing come in your head. Don't nothing come in your head. And after I come, I mean, I'm looking like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you ask your question, I always tell you this. So, right. right, I know. I mean, it's like my mind goes like, you say you're full of it's like my mind goes like, everybody knows that. Don't retain right. all the information. No, I, I have. I know it, but, but I'm but saying that like sometimes it just goes like blank. Sometimes yeah, yeah, I question blank. you don't. Yeah. You just run a blank. Yeah, it does. Did it come to me? Okay, but it's actually on the phone. Practice makes perfect, <laughs> and that's what we got to do. Not sometime, one time. It's got to be a daily thing. A continuous thing. Right. Come on, you. It's got to be a precious thing, a sacred thing, a loving thing. I mean, it's got it's got to become our world, our lifestyle. Yeah. Oh boy. Let's take a a couple more. Eighteen nineteen. Eighteen nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Then go ahead. 
Then the one whose name was Cleopas answered and said to him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? And have you <clears throat> not known the things which happened now, wait a minute. in these days? He got the nerve to ask Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the only stranger in town that don't know what happened? <laughs> wow. He didn't even know that was Jesus. But see, if you don't study scripture, things like that, you, you'll fly right over. you just read it and keep on going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 19. And he said to them, what things? And they said to him, the things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty and dead indeed, and word before God and all the people. Now, while he's talking, Jesus still in the conversation. Right. And it was Jesus that asked him, what thing? Right. It's red. He wanted him to make it plainer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wanted him to really let them know what he's talking about. See? And they said to him, concerning Jesus and Nazareth, he's with them now, listening to what they're saying. And now they're talking as if he's not with them. Concerning Jesus and Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deeds and word before God and all the people. You got people right there that believe Jesus is nothing more than a prophet. prophet. Yep. <clears throat> a lot of people teach that. A lot of religions teach that. What is it called, man? Mm -hmm. Missing the mark. Yeah. Huh? That's called heresy. He is not yeah. just a prophet. Mm -hmm. But all that comes under the head of missing the mark. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the mark. Mm -hmm. And when things are said like this that, that are wrong and contradictory and all of this, it means to miss them out. Right. Yeah. And he's right there with them while they're talking these uh, things that's contrary to them. You know, I mean, what better witness could you have of him being in the present? Well, what happened when you and I talk? Who's in the present? The Holy Jesus. Holy the Spirit. They didn't okay. know he was huh? there. They didn't know, they didn't talk about they didn't know who he was there. Two or three yeah. are gathered together in my name. Yeah, yeah but yeah, he's steady yeah. talking in the conversation with them. I know. And they asked him questions. They didn't know he was talking to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were we at, 20? Uh, yeah. Somebody else, 20 or 21. And how the chief priests and our ruler delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him, 21. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel and decide all of this. Today is the third day since these things were done. Oh, look at this. Three days after he'd been crucified. Right. <clears throat> so what, was he uh, supposed to appear physically <laughs> and let somebody see him or handle him or do something with him or something? You know, we can only... Do it God's way. Ain't that right? Amen. Be about kingdom business His way. Can't be about it our way. Our way is the wrong way. Right. And no matter how much education, how much uh, love I say I have, or anything else, my way is the wrong way. That's why He said, unless you come and be converted. You know what that means. Change. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not just a change, it's a total change. Transform. Everything got to be changed. Transform. Huh? Transform. Okay. Yeah. Become a new. Creation. And then what did it say, Mother, after converting? You become, you become as a little child. Uh -uh. He said, You cannot be my disciple. <clears throat> you never read? Yeah, I have made it a lot of time. He said, unless you come this way and do what needs to be done, you cannot be my disciple. Amen. So because people of faith are using different titles of them, church of so-and-so, church of this church, that church, so-and-so, but it's, it's only one way. Come on. Mm -hmm. What you think is more than one? Look how you look. What they look at Huh? It's the only way. <laughs> What's the only way? God's way. God's way. Say Jesus. Jesus. Don't Jesus. don't use <laughs> don't use words and titles and things. Say 
with the only way in. Then he said, I am the way in. The truth and the life. Well, then, if you're going to tell somebody, share with them about the way, you got to tell them who it is. Yeah. You can't, you can't say God. You got to only say Jesus. But Jesus only died. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. I know Jesus died for oh, us. That's, that's why, why, why is it so important to say God? I'm asking you why is it? Jesus is God. That's what I'm So instead of just Jesus saying God. he's God, let them be personal about it and mm -hmm. say Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus and God is the same person. Yeah, you know. yeah um, but if you're witnessing to somebody, yeah, it's better for you right. to do it because you what you're really telling them, I know it by name, not just by title. Right. God is not his name. <laughs> Jesus is his name. Amen. I was gonna God say, is his title. Uh -huh. I was gonna say another thing is like when you're talking to people, if you don't if you're not specific, okay. they could think you're talking about any anybody's God, but you sure. want them to know you're talking about. That's why you gotta Jesus. be specific. Yeah. You can't mama, this thing is 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 how do you say it? Your life depends on this. I mean, the Lord may send someone to you. Not to try to trap you or anything. The, the enemy will do that. But the Lord will send them just to see what you got to say concerning him. I'm going to learn for myself. And he's got a right to do that. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. He's because God. he wants us to be right. Amen. And how was it in some of the other classes of things? People are objecting and disagreeing. Uh, about so and so, so and so, so and so, and we have really got to be on top of this. I I should be willing to use that name wherever I'm at, whoever I'm around, whatever I'm doing. Ain't no other, no other name. Right. Huh? Right. Because God gave him that name when right. He said gave her to Mary. You know, He gave, gave him that name. Said, you know, name yeah. Jesus. And because that's so important, what she just said. Now, what did He do with the name? What who did it with? Jesus. What did he do with it? Okay, explain that. <laughs> what did he do with it? He gave it to us. Oh, okay. <laughs> the name belongs to us now. Okay. We're not Jesus. We're his people. Right. And every time we use the name, it, it, it's in order. And knowledge in him. But when, when he uses it like these people did here, it's out of order. That name is given to do what? To save us. Right. That name is given to give us everlasting life. That name is given to be a blessing to us. That name is given. Every good thing you can think of, that's what that name is given to us. So when I talk to someone, I don't say, well, you got to go to God. No. I say, hey, you got to go to Jesus. No one of the reasons why I don't say go to God. Did you know Satan is a God? Yeah. I don't, that's why I don't use God. It's possible I could have been talking about Satan. Huh? Or some other God. Did you know there's many gods? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> but it's only one. But it's only one true and living God. Many gods are dead. Many gods are gone. But you have to be real careful when you're witnessing to people or dealing with truth to talk about the living God. He's the true and living God. Right? Amen. Okay. So it's so important that we stay on that. Where did we stop? We got to hurry. We stopped on 22. On 22? Yeah. Okay. Someone read 22 and 23. Yes, and certain women of our company who arrived at the tomb early astonished us. When they did not find his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Now, wait a minute. Look, look at, 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 at 22. It said, certain women of our company made us astonished when they come in there, when they found not the body, and came saying that they had seen a vision of an angel. Now, said that he was alive. what would happen? I mean, someone come up and ask you, well, 
we, we winded up going back to have you seen it. But they were right there. They were at the burial place, they at the tomb. I mean, they, they no doubt were at the crucifixion and everything else. How can some still die? They was there a whole time, right? Ooh. They was there a whole time. I mean, they that's sad, man. Disciples ran away. They didn't Women know. stayed. But they didn't know. <laughs> Women stayed while he was crucified. They went to the but but song, it ain't no excuse for the I simple know. reason that yeah. if you start back at the beginning, Jesus went all over the region oh, teaching. He yeah. went in all the synagogues and churches. He went everywhere you can think of. Ain't no excuse for it. Right? Amen. But yet, some going to always die. Yeah. Who said, if I can't see it for myself, I ain't going to believe it. Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he had to see. He wanted to see, feel it, and everything else. He wanted to touch it. Look at that. And all that. And the very second he did that, what happened? Jesus appeared to him. Jesus walked up to him and said, stretch out your hand. Put it in these holes. Do the thing. Thomas fell on both knees and said, what? My Lord and my God. <laughs> he said. He shouldn't have to took all that. Amen. Right, if you've been with him all the days, all, all, all the times. But all even the though he doubted the Lord, the Lord made him a believer yeah. back then. Right. Lord, Lord. 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 against him. Yeah. Amen. No, Amen. not hold it against him either. You know. Yeah. Ain't that a blessing? Amen. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, well, that, how come he didn't hold it against him? He didn't hold it against him because he, you know, he, he didn't punish him for, for asking to do, you know. Oh, he yeah. already knew and who was going to How come there's certain things we can do he won't hold against? How come it's certain things the whole body of Christ can do it that we're all together? Because if, if we confess our sins, come, yeah, faithful, pray, confess just, our forgive sins us of our sins and, and it cleanses us from all unrighteousness. One of the Lord's favorite words, one of the favorite words of him is, he knew their hearts. Right. Right. Because he made it. Sometimes him. Speak with people just speak just to be speaking. It doesn't necessarily come from their heart. Right, right. that's true. That's you know, they say he knew their hearts. Right. And he knew Thomas. He knew what right, because he, he made he made us all, and he, he, knew, <laughs> he knew everything. He knew it before it happened. He knew just as Thomas he made just need a little more convincing than yeah, the rest right. of me. Uh, and that's why he dropped and said, "My Lord, mm -hmm. my Lord." <laughs> he needed a little more convincing. Mm -hmm. And if you ever get to the place that you think you need it, ask the Lord. Say, Lord, I need a little more convincing. Yeah, right. Amen. Now, if you scared to ask him, you may not never get it. Amen. But it's all right today, huh? Yes, dear. I don't mean to cut you off, but it's one o'clock. But I know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know the time was fast. Ooh, we get so deep. There's so much to, to these infallible proofs. I really want you all to grab a hold to them and don't never let them go. Because this can help strengthen your faith. This can help uh, 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 straighten your walk and have you... Uh, feeling the way you should feel, the love that you have for the Lord and his people and everything else. This is the word. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jeff. What are we gonna pick up at? Because uh, we still in Luke 24, right? Yeah. You still in Luke 24? Yeah. Right. And verse 23. Uh, yeah, we'll pick it up, 22 and 23. No, okay. 24. We, pick up, we, we just read 23. Yeah, okay. We'll pick it up at uh, Luke uh, 24, 24. Okay. You all got that? Amen. Amen.